Hey, it's Carl, and tonight is another build video. I am building a new aquarium for some more vampire crabs. I have a, a cube aquarium this time. This is a 15 inch or a 14 gallon uh, cube tank. It's the low iron glass. It's a really good looking tank, and it's gonna make an amazing crab -a cube is what I'm gonna call it. If you saw my other crab habitat build that I did, this is gonna be along the same lines. Just a way cooler shape. I've got some new rocks and some new wood, and I'm gonna just do this one up a little bit differently, but the same concept as, as the crab cube habitat build. So the first step is some styrofoam. I cut some styrofoam that'll fit the the wall of rocks that I want to build. I want to set the rocks on the styrofoam just to protect the glass but also to give them some height. I want to get as much height on these rocks as I can because I want to have a lot of drainage for the soil on top. So these go in first and I'm going to cover it. So now I'm going to cover it all with this bio drain mat. This is new from Exoterra. It actually came out for their frog terrariums. I'm going to use it for my crab tank because it does the same thing. But so basically it's just a mesh that's going to go over top of underneath the rocks and then over top of the bio hydro balls, I guess they are. So to keep the soil from mixing all in with the hydro balls, I want to keep that soil layer separate. So this mesh is going to do that. That'll keep it all separate. I'm going to have to trim it a bit. I got a big one here, but. So I'm just gonna start putting my rocks in. I don't, I have a kind of an idea. I kind of mapped out these rocks a little bit, but I'm not 100% sure if they're gonna line up right. So I'm gonna have to mess around with these rocks a little bit, but they're gonna go right on top of that mesh and then I'm gonna pull the mesh up over the rocks and put the hydro walls in there. So there's the basic layout. You can see I've got lots of holes to fill, but that's kind of the wall section there. So, so this will all be water in the front and that's all the hydro balls and the plants are gonna go up at the back here. So probably gonna take a few bags of hydro balls to get the, the height I want. I wanna have lots of height, so there's lots of drainage, but still lots of room for some soil to get those plants rooted in. I'm just gonna fold this, this mesh back over top and then the soil's gonna go on top of that. Okay, so the hydro balls are in. I got the mesh wrapped up over top of them. The only problem is, is back in behind these rocks is a lot of gappy space still. And it's just the, the, the way the mesh is and the hydro balls are, they're not flowing in there well. I just grabbed some coarse, this is just laneway gravel is all it is, and I'm going to fill in behind the rocks with this grey stone. It'll kind of match up with the cereal stone real well, and it'll kind of fill in all the gaps and holes, and then the rest will plug up with plants. Well that worked out pretty good. That laneway gravel filled in all those cracks and gaps and made the, the whole wall of cereal stone, made it a lot more, locked it in, gave it a little more rigidity. It actually filled in the gaps real nice and the color of the stone kind of matches so you can't really see it. Yeah, it looks much, much better now. So so I'm gonna get this, this mesh all trimmed up, get it cut to size. It's way too big right now. So I'm gonna get it cut to size and then we'll get that soil layer on. We're gonna use the Zoomed Repti soil and put the layer of that on top of the mesh, but gotta get it trimmed up first. So now I'm going to put in the layer of repti soil and this is what I'm actually going to be planting in but this stuff's very fine and this is why you put that mesh in because you don't want all this stuff sifting down into your hydro balls, plugging up the hydro balls, getting all funky and stinky and all sop and wet down in there. It'll get really gross and it won't allow it to drain very well either. So now the hydro balls will stay nice and clean, it'll drain nice and easy or this will stay up on top where your roots are, lots of nutrients for your plants to grow in. I want at least an inch and a half, two inches of this stuff in there just to give it a good root layer. And make sure that you bring that that mesh, you have to bring it up the sides of your tank a little bit because you don't want the stuff like slipping down over the cracks and getting down into the hydro balls. So I make sure I press, I'm not gonna see those back corners of this tank really anyways. So I'm gonna wrap or have that mesh come up the side a little bit and then with the soil up against it, push it to the side. And that way it'll stay put. It's not gonna go down over the edges and get down into the hydro balls. So that's looking good. I have most of the holes all plugged up in those rocks with the laneway gravel, driveway gravel. So I picked out this awesome eucalyptus root. These things are really dense and heavy. They kind of stay where you put them. Check out the character and all the branches and roots and sticks out of this one. This one's gonna look awesome in there.
Here. Just gonna add this little rock in here too, just to give it some, to hold it up a bit, keep it from tipping forward. Once it's all planted and wet and everything, it'll it should stay on its own, but that should keep it from tipping over. But I really like the look of that. That nice high branch. Oh, the glare is so bad. Nice high branch. Anyways, I'm gonna have some pothos or, or some kind of vine climbing up there. So now it's time for the moss, and I've got some Zoomed frog moss, it's called, or pillow moss is the real name for it. And I've had it soaking in a, in a tray for a while now, it's rehydrating, soaking it all up. It's starting to look really good, actually. So I'm going to break it all up into chunks and kind of place it on top of that repti soil, fill in all the cracks and stuff. So there's a good look at it. There's the stone. Got the moss all planted now. It looks real good. That wood's really, really nice. Not sure if I want another chunk up behind or if I can fill it in with plants. But yeah, that's looking really good. Really happy with that so far. So the land portion's all looking really good. I'm so happy with the way that looks. I have some fluval black sand. This is for the beta systems. They, they have a special gravel for their beta systems. I just really like the texture of it. It's a little bit more coarse than most black sand. Probably gonna take two or three bags to get a good thick layer in there, but yeah, I want a nice thick layer because I'll probably do some planting down there too. But yeah, gonna get that in there now. So before I fill it up and get the filter on, I, I moved the tank back into my office here just because I'm doing some renovations where these tanks and the new reptile section and a lot of this planted nature type aquarium stuff's gonna go. But until those renos are done, it's just gonna go back here. So. I'm going to get the filter on, get it full of water, get it running, let it uh, let it settle down a bit. And now i got to plant it still. I'm going to go grab some plants. I'm going to steal some plants out of my dart frog tank and I have some mosses growing in some of my aquariums. I'm also going to use some aquarium plants terrestrially, some anubias and things. I'm just going to plant in there, some cryptochorines and uh, yeah, steal some moss. Just going to dress it up as best I can and just let it start to fill in. And this is a Elite Mini. It's just a tiny little power filter with a little sponge in it. Nice and tiny, it's pretty powerful, and nice and quiet. These things aren't gonna be that messy or anything. Most of their mess is gonna be on the land, so the water, this will be enough to keep the water nice and clean. Anyway. And I left a spot at the back corner here where it's gonna go. So I'm just gonna lay this plastic down, hoping that will help keep it from getting too stirred up and too, uh, too dusty from all the substrates and the, the soil. I know it's gonna change color and it's gonna get a little dirty looking. So I'll probably have to do a few water changes. All right, we'll let that run for a little bit, let it get cleared up. I think it's looking pretty good already. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go collect some plants and get ready to plant this thing. All right, buddy, I'm here to steal some more plants. You okay with that? Got a lot of grief last time I took some plants from your tank, but it's gonna happen again. These are my Aratus dart frogs. And their tank is loaded with plants, so I'm gonna steal some for sure. But look at this guy up here, climbing around. Anyways, I have to thank Mr. Vivarium. He's local to us here, has a great YouTube channel, especially if you're into plants at all. He's got a lot of information. I don't even know, I know this one's Pothos. That's the only one I know, but he gave me a couple of nice plants that I can get started here. I forget this one. I'm sure he'll fill me in. But yeah, just gonna snip that off, grab a chunk. Oh, look at the roots on that thing. Yeah, this one here. I don't remember what it's called, but he gave me that one too. I think that's gonna look good. It's growing really, really well. So Pothos, that other thing. And this one here, it's got like kind of fuzzy leaves. Again, don't know what it's called, but Mr. Vivarium gave it to me, said it would grow, and it certainly has. So again, check out his YouTube channel if you're into plants. He's really, really knowledgeable on these plants, and uh, I am clueless. So I'm just going to cut some chunks off like that. I'll leave a few for my frogs. 
Yeah, that's lots there. Sorry guys. I'm gonna start with the pothos because they're gonna grow big. So I'm gonna plant them in behind the wood and then hopefully they'll come up and around and wrap around the wood and stuff. So I've got a pretty big chunk here. All I'm gonna do, I have my planting forceps that I use for aquarium plants. First, I'm just gonna dig a little hole in here. Kind of wrap the roots around the stalk and just jam it down in there. Get it down as deep as I can go. Get that all down in there. I'll have to train that stuff a little bit so it goes where I want it to go, but yeah, I really like the look of that so far. Starogene, I'm gonna plant that around the rocks in the front here. So I'm just gonna grab little clumps of it like that. And stick it down in there. A patch. They don't destroy it, so it keeps on growing, but yeah. There, back here. Behind that wood. That fuzzy colored plant. It's really got a nice color to it. of Anubius. Put it down in the crack of the rock right in here. Just gonna jam it down in there. Tuck those roots away. See how that does. So I just grabbed a clump of weeping moss and I'm just gonna jam it down in this crack here. And that should be enough to hold it in place. So I'm thinking I'm done with that tonight. But yeah, have a look at that. That's looking great. Lots of plants. It's just gonna look better and better as it fills in too and as these plants perk up and climb all over the wood. And one more thing before I shut it down. Threw in some floaters, some frog bit, and some salvinia. They got the roots hanging down there. I think that's kind of a nice addition too. Well, it's been a couple days and the tank's looking great. The plants are starting to spring back up. Everything's looking good. The water's clearing. I had to do a water change to get the, the cloudiness out of it. But it's looking a little bit better now. And as it filters more, it's going to clear up good. But pretty happy with the way it is right now. So I'm going to introduce some crabs. So I spent the afternoon ripping apart the 10 gallon crab habitat, pulling out all the babies and the juveniles. And I got, I don't know how many, a whole bunch of really tiny, tiny little babies. And then a really nice batch of juvenile stuff that's from the last video I did. They've grown up quite a bit now and it's starting to be able to sex them. So I pulled out the nicest red ones I could find, two young males and then four young females. And that's what I'm gonna stock this tank with. So I'm gonna get them in the tank now and let them make a new home for themselves. A couple little females with nice yellow eyes. There's my little best little male that I raised up with the red, look at the yellow eyes. I'm gonna lose them here. So there it is, looks amazing. Super happy with that way it turned out. Got some of my little friends in there. Well, I hope you enjoyed that build video. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. It looks awesome. And then to have my own homegrown juvenile crabs put in there to repopulate, that's awesome. They look great in there. I think they're gonna do really, really well in there. So again, hope you enjoyed this. I hope you subscribe for more build videos like this and product reviews and fish features and even more crab videos like this. So again, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you subscribe and I hope I'll see you in the next one.